What's up Gunpla Models, this is Jim and today I'm going to be bringing you a unboxing of Master Grade XCM. Uh, not only am I going to be doing a unboxing of this, there are some things I didn't cover in my last video that I didn't get to show off. So before I start unboxing this, I'm going to show you what I got and two things I bought today as well. The two that I bought today, I'll show you. This is something I'm going to be just messing around with. It's, I don't really care for, so I'm just really just going to mess around with this. 1 1 40th uh, Gundam Sea Destiny's Zaku Warrior. I'm just going to use this as a tester kit. Just uh, screw around with it, do whatever. It's nothing really important. It's going to be uh, like first grade XEA from Robert 184's, I guess. But this one is what I've got today, and I found it for a real good price. It was only 30 bucks. Usually it goes for more. But this was just like. I, I had to have it. Can you blame me? Go to Bukia's. Rockman Zeros, zero. I mean, who wouldn't want this? It's not Bandai, but still, it's zero. I played the games before, and he's just badass. And it's different from any Bandai kit you ever seen. So let me show you. And of course, you got regular plates like so. They're all broken up pretty, pretty interestingly, actually. Got small plates. And you got this. You got two faces, clear again, and I don't know what that is for, but I'll figure it out. You got some more, some more small stuff. Here's some red and black. Some more red. And one big clear green piece and some more red or no black I'm sorry the poly caps of the thing and huh okay this is interesting actually these are the eyes and the uh, action hand that it comes with so that should be interesting Uh, but enough about the Kodobuki kit. We're really not here for that. Uh, where is it? And if you hear any of the scratching in the background, that's my cat's acting like a cat. The next two items were, came in the kit that I was talking about were I was uh, I bought this myself with help from a friend and my sister, but let's turn it around. The G Rex airbrush kit. Can't really get there. Oh, there we go. Uh, this kit got me a good price for it. Actually, it was cheaper than I expected with the 40% off coupon I had plus it was already 20% like off the original price so I almost saved like 60% so it works this is one of those uh, side feed kind of airbrushes it's not a uh, top feed as you can tell but that works for me because I can have the larger cup or smaller cup or I can do an anti-siphon or the siphon one I don't know but uh yeah, this should look interesting, and hopefully this will be fun. Now, we got all that out of the way. And I'll have to apologize, apologize again in advance. If you hear any uh, running around, it's my cats being crazy. Anyway, let's get to unboxing this guy. 
Of course, this is not what you first see. This is actually at the bottom. But, yeah. Excuse me. You got your stickers, dry decals and decals. And you got your A play with your uh, yellow, white, red, and clear green, which is good to see. In this plastic bag here, there's actually the uh, clear purple sparkly parts. I'll have to show them in more contra later. The whole white play with the weapons and the pilot. There he is standing and sitting. Next plate, the darker stuff, uh, inner frame I'm guessing. And I don't know if you can see it, but right there is, I'm in the light, but sorry, I don't have any other natural light sources, but there's the robot. It comes on the side of the box that they mentioned. Uh, here's some blue with white. Inner frames and polycap. And no, that's not an earthquake, that's just my cat walking away who's sitting next to a tripod. More inner frame. And the hands are on here somewhere. Uh, yeah. Around here. Second to last plate, you get two plates actually. She and Sabres, both long and short. And the gray parts. But if you buy the ignition mode, this is all uh, chromed. I didn't want that, it seems, because it's kind of a waste. And I didn't want to do the whole repair two thing, so I opted out of that. But this is what it looks like. And finally, clear parts. And that's where you can attach the uh, G and drive to. So not much to this kit. A whole lot of runners. Uh, here's the manual. Opening up, you get your normal uh, instructions on what to do. There's actually parts in here that are... Here, let me zoom in for you. It'll tell you right here that are there are some parts that are under gated, as you can see here. It's under gated, so you gotta cut, cut vertically, then horizontally before you turn the part correctly. I guess. Uh, let's see what else. Nice line art on this side, and it shows you where the G drive goes. Okay. Next page is just all the uh, parts where they're laid out. Goes all the way up to J2, I'm sorry. Plus the uh, special sheet and polycaps. And you've got your simple, yeah, simple build here. You start with the gene drive unit and working your way to your body. Then you're doing the head. Arms, you got a nice metal splash page, and again, I apologize for sputtering. That's what happens with me sometimes. And you can see here it does like half of the frame, looks real good actually. Then you continue building arms and putting upper torso together. Then you build your legs and your waist unit. Final assembly, and then you get onto your weapons, shield, and that's it. And then you get to your final page where you get put all the fun decals down where they go. That should be a uh, treat. And finally, on the back, a nice little fun shot of Exia, all painted up by a pro. Uh, I had some ideas what I'm going to be doing for mine. Um, I'm going to be doing. Here, let me 
zoom out a little bit more. Uh, what I was planning to do is I'm going to pound line, like do gray for all the white. Uh, I actually have brown, so I'm going to do that for the red, which is minuscule. And for the blue, I'm going to do black and white. I guess it's going to be gray. And I might do a little painting with a gun marker somewhere on here. I don't know yet. I'm going to figure it out as I go. But anyway, I thought you guys would enjoy that. And this has been Spider2K2. I'll catch you guys next time.